purpose is too serious? Can we keep a playful mood inside while doing service instead of serious uh, and worship mood? Meaning playful mood inside and keep the serious mood outside? Well, that's Srila Prabhupada uh, liked that mood. He used to say that the devotee should be serious but jolly. So, yeah, serious on the outside, dedicated, committed, like that. And on the inside, full of joy and love for Krishna. That's our mood, actually. Actually, inside, I feel like I'm just a young boy, you know, just, just playing, actually, playing with my lion. You know, that's my mood. Outside, I may be very serious and talk about philosophy and all these things. But it's just to get people ready so that they can appreciate this wonderful joy of relating to Krishna as a friend. Um, another important thing, though, is that to reach this stage of spontaneous devotional service, one must have a strong background in regulative devotional service. Without the practice of the rules and regulations, you cannot reach the spontaneous stage, uh, the authentic spontaneous stage. Now, there are devotees in India who will say, oh, we are on the spontaneous platform where we don't practice all these rules and regulations. It's too boring or something like this. Uh, but this is bogus. This just means that they have no patience. They're not very mature. They're not very advanced. They just want to get to the good part right away without paying their dues. Uh, so these people are not accepted as actually pure devotees. Because a pure devotee, someone who's really advanced, they can practice all these rules and regulations easily, effortlessly. Uh, in fact, they prefer to live in this way. And they don't think of that as rules and regulations. They think of it as this is just the way I feel. I don't feel like eating meat. I don't want to gamble. I don't want to take intoxication and make myself stupid. Uh -huh. What's the other one? Oh, yeah, I don't want illicit sex. Illicit sex is ugly. Ugh. Uh -huh. So they don't do these. Uh, they automatically follow the rules and regulations of devotional service because they love Krishna and they want to please Krishna. Krishna is their friend. They know Krishna. He's a person, a real person. He's not just a concept huh? or a name. He is, the, he is the eternal person. So real devotee does not feel that these rules and regulations are a restriction. Rules and regulations of devotional service are the way a pure devotee naturally acts. So uh, if we are feeling some inconvenience from these rules and regulations, it means that we are not actually on the platform of uh, pure devotional service yet. We haven't reached anartha nivritti. Anartha nivritti is when all of these bad qualities finally go away. They're purified by our devotional service. So uh, until then, there's still some serious work ahead. But once you get past anartha nivritti, it's all downhill. It's all easy. From that point on, everything is just natural attraction to Krishna. Huh? Spontaneous. So. That's it? No more questions? spiritual world there's no there's not a single case in which there's a devotee in which his main rasa is none of these four main ones like someone like ghastliness or laughter and like that no Th those are no because those depend on the uh, five main rasas neutrality although it's available in the spiritual world not considered devotional service? It's or devotional not? service, but it's considered a very low grade of devotional service. Uh, it's mostly found in the 
in the heavenly planets and like that. Oh, the Vaikuntas don't have? Well, there might be some in the Vaikuntas. We'll, we'll see when we get to, that ch to the next wave. Okay. Devotional service, and it will describe the five different uh, principal rasas very elaborately with lots and lots of examples. That's it. Okay. We'll try F. Jagadish Hare Jagadish Hare 